Okay, let me show you the Cable Master 210 and its function with some of the available accessories for this tool. The tool is super small, very inexpensive, and really provides some really quick feedback from field testing to figure out if you've got a broken cable or where cables are routed, where they're, where they're, where they're headed in the network. Um, I'm gonna turn off the camera and actually put my hands on the tester and show you how it works. Okay, so this is the Cable Master 210, very small, smaller than your phone, really, your smartphone. Um, the remote unit is built into the tester. Um, the tester itself just runs off of AAA batteries back here. Um, and the you can do a very quick cable test on it. Let me show you how quick that is. I'll just plug in a short patch cable here and we'll test. And that quick, I have an answer here. I have a correctly wired cable. You can see that all eight conductors on this cable are wired correctly. And I also see a number one, which is this is remote number one right here. This cable is good. Okay. So um, you can test that quick. You can purchase additional accessories to test with additional remotes. So you notice that was number one. Well, you can purchase this, these additional targets to test additional cables. So I can get number two through eight here. And you notice it's giving me the same wire map results here, even telling me if I have a shield or not, and this cable is shielded. And I also can see that this is remote number five or target number five. I can do the same thing with number eight here. And there's number eight. Okay. Now, what if you have a cable that is bad? Well, let's do the same test with a cable that has a problem. You can tell me here that one, two is open. You can see there's a symbol there for an open conductor. I can also see that I'm still testing with number eight, it's telling me that I've got a fail. And sure enough, on this cable, one, two is open. Okay, so very fast. I've also got a backlight here, so I can um, I can turn the back backlight uh, display on and be able to read in uh, some darker areas. Okay, um, I can also get the um, I can also use additional targets. Let's go back to a good cable here. A good RJ45 connected cable. Let's connect that in. Let's connect to this longer cable run. And let's use some of these numbered accessories here. So I've got one through 24. Okay. I can simply just plug that in. I'm on this cable. I can just check to see I've got number 19 there. Okay. I can then go to Another one, let's try number 17. Plug that in, test, number 17. I've got one through 24 of these, so I could have a whole tray of cable and be able to check to see that they are in fact wired in. Okay, so that's the target block accessory for this tester. You've also seen the additional remotes two through eight, okay? Um, another accessory for this test tool is our tone wand. So this tester generates a tone, okay? So I can use our tone wand here, okay? And I'll see if I can pick this up on mic. There's a pretty good noise filter here that doesn't allow it to go through. But I can generate tone on this tester. So I click on the this button here, and it will now generate a tone on this cable. And I can connect this and then pick up the tone on the far end. So you should, hopefully you should be able to hear that. I'm gonna turn that up and see if I can get it closer to the mic. Let's generate a tone on, on uh, um, all four pairs. So three, six, four, five, seven, eight tone. I can go from 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to all conductors. So I can generate tone on individual pairs, individual conductors. I can also toggle between a high tone to a uh, low tone to a uh, kind of like a different cadence, high, low or low, high. And I can pick that up. Let's see if we can hear that. Hopefully you can peer, pick that up on mic, be able to hear that nice and loud. My coworkers hate me whenever I do this in my office, but it gives you an idea. You can track down cable issues with the tone generator function of the Cable Master 210 and the Cable Probe 15 from Softing. Okay. Now, in addition to four conductor or two conductor uh, RJ45 Ethernet, we can also test Ethernet or sorry, coax with the coax adapter. So I can drop in coax adapter here. I can connect a coax cable. Let's connect this in. Grab a target from this accessory block over here. Here's number four. Hit the test button. And there's number four, showing me that I've got correctly wired coax. Let's go to another number, number nine. Plug that in. Hit the test button, number nine. Let's go to another one, number 16. Number 16. So there's that. Now I can also, because I can generate tone on all four pairs or just an individual pair or um, uh, pair one, two, we've also got this alligator clip accessory and I can generate tone on one, two. Let's do that real quick. Oops, scroll through those. So now I'm generating tone on one, two, and I'll be able to pick up tone on the alligator clips. Okay, now this has a lot of applications. So I could basically test, I could test just a shield with this on a cable. I could test uh, other type of conductors. I could test analog cabling. I could test, 12 gauge conductor, 14 gauge conductor. I could test Romex with this. Um, I could test um, um, IO cabling, different things like that. Really any kind of electrical cable I can test with the alligator clip breakout and the tone generator function on one, two or one or two of the Cable Master 210 combined with the Cable Probe 15.